some sort of common thread to these three wins that you can all be sort of just work if that's a team that decides to, uh, you know, we didn't have our best legs tonight. We didn't have our best stuff. We turned so many pucks over throughout that game. Grimes made some big saves, especially early in that third. But uh, we just worked and um, blocked shots at the end. I just stepped up huge, stuck together as a team. Let's talk about the structure of the group. Obviously, they were the best team. Is that encouraging you to the structure? Yeah, I think so. I mean, for a start of the period, we gave up too many chances. I mean, we had a good little 10 minute stretch there where we didn't give too much, but uh, then the end was just a little bit of scramble. But uh, like I said, Ryan's was great tonight for us, made some big stops down the stretch. We found a way. What was the message the first um, We were playing a pretty good hockey game. We started off out shooting them. I think the first 10 minutes, we uh, we were in the right majority of that, that period. Um, then we got away from it, we stopped for checking. Uh, we turned a few bucks over. I was going to do it, and it turned two or three over. They, they live off that. They want to turn the puck up ice, uh, make plays on the odd man rushes. We handed them a few of those, but uh, we got back to, to playing our game in a second. I think so. I think, uh, yeah, we just stick together. Um, you know, instead of trying to do it on our own and getting away from our structure, we, we stick it together as a team play the uh, the game that the coaches want us to uh, make smart decisions with the puck and find a way to win i mean this is it's a tough road trip for us so, excuse me we started pretty good yeah. he's got a, got a shot, good shot um kevin will bet you in the room. So, um he looks good when he gets the puck there and he shoots it i mean he's, he the first shot the first period <coughs> sorry um, shot the first period to be very clean too, and uh, unfortunately that was, was called back. But uh, keep shooting; he's gonna score a lot of goals. Uh, speaking of Kevin, uh, Bob talked about having him out uh, in the empty net situation, and just uh, also too that it was one of the best, or maybe the best five-on-five game he's seen. He's seen Kevin play. Just can you talk about just uh, just the growth of Kevin to be able to be in that situation where he is, you know, playing a defensive end, which is not you know the norm for him. Yeah, I think it's been gradual. I think the last couple of years. It's kind of Last couple of years, he's uh, he's played harder defensive. He's um, he's stronger on his stick. He makes smarter decisions. Um, I mean, when he first came into the league, he was a, a natural point getter, a junior. He was putting up 100 points in that, that league. And you got to learn to play defense at the pro level, and I think he's put in a lot of hard work. Um, you know, he's, he's watched a lot of tape. He's really worked on his defensive game, so he's earned the opportunities that he's getting. Yeah, well, it's nine for nine now. We'll see. <laughs> Sure. It's been good. I mean, you know, our power play was not pretty tonight by any means. We, we had a tough time entering, but uh, we, when we did enter, uh, Banker took a shot and he scored. It's just uh, get back to the simple play, shoot it with a guy in front of the goalie. If he doesn't see it and it hits the net, it's likely going to go in. So um, power play has been good. Timely goals, PK, in fact, a good tenny. We have the good uh, goaltender on the kill, it uh, helps immensely. Yeah. It is, yeah. I mean, we, you know, think back a bunch of years ago, we normally go to the East Coast, we go to New York to start the trips we have in our past. And, um, you know, coming to Canada is fun for a few of us. We're, we're from this area. Myself, play junior, obviously, here. It adds a little extra step to your game. Um, you want to impress people, your family, uh, your friends that uh, you grew up with. So it's, uh, it's it's a fun trip coming out here. Uh, tomorrow night's going to be fun as well. See Toronto kids, our guys on our team. Um, then we have a couple of couple tough buildings to, to finish uh, in Boston and Nashville. So uh, happy to get the first two. We're going to keep building. Nice one win for uh, Eric. Here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been a while since we won here. And uh, we wanted to get him one. I thought he played really good tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any sort of common thread to you on three of these things? Well, I think uh, if I had to pick one thing, I would probably be our structure. I think that tonight was uh, an example of a team that came out hard. We, we thought we had a good first period, uh, even though we didn't get the first one. Um, it looked like we lost our legs a little bit. We looked a little tired towards the second half of the game, but um we still stuck to our details and our structure and you know they, they gave us everything they had and they, i mean ottawa was uh was good in the second half of the game but uh um, even though we played 
quite a bit in our own end. Um, I thought that we try to keep a lot of things to the outside. So um, I just say our starts have been good. And I think our structure's been good. I mean, that third period that, that, that strikes me is maybe last year's team and the team before that. Yeah, no, I think, uh, yeah, there's definitely a mentality. I think that, uh, you know, I, I think you're going to see a lot of those kind of wins this year where we're going to have to grind it out, especially on the road. And uh, I think that's probably the biggest difference is that grind mentality. Um, you know, last year, I think that, you know, instead of making easy plays or, or uh, you know, the right plays, we might try and force us to look for offense in certain situations. Now you got a room full of guys that are all saying the right things and doing the right things. And, you know, I, I keep saying that. The Ninos and Cogs of the world, but it's real contagious, you know. Um, Cooch, Tommy, the banker out there with an empty net. Uh, it was a reward for the game he had. I thought he was that was his best game five and five. He's played. Timo's out there for an empty net. I think, uh, you know, you want to reward guys that play it hard and play in the right way or buy it in. Uh, in the first period, uh, maybe there was a little bit of an issue with puck management. Was there something said? Second period seemed like the puck was yeah, yeah, there. absolutely. We, we were good for the first 10 minutes, and then we tried to, uh, you know, get a little fancy, go east west, but shouldn't have four and four. We had two turnovers that ended up in scoring chances uh, in the first period. And that's what I think sort of tilted, you know, the rest of the first period. We were on our heels because we gave them a little bit. Uh, up until that point, it was five nothing in shots for us, and I thought we were playing in their end. So, uh, we mismanaged the puck a little bit, and uh, um, but we regained that structure and that focus. And uh, you know, for the most part, it wasn't pretty, but uh, you know, we had found we were finding ways to win. Um, different ways to win. Yeah, speaking of uh, Kevin LeBanc, how good was it to see uh, his line um, <clears throat> tilt the uh, the the offense uh, in this game? They like, five on five, even though they had scored five on five, but. You know, uh, good momentum, especially in the second half. Yeah, I, like, I like that line because you got Bonesy that's, uh, you know, a great two way player. You got Needs is a good two way player, and uh, it almost frees Kevin up a little bit. Not that he's not buying, you know, Kevin's playing great two way hockey, especially tonight. Um, you know, but it, it just provides a little more structure to a line uh, for Kevin. I think that, uh, you know, forces him to play it a little more north. Um, you know, so it's, uh, it's, you know, we've been having contributions through the first uh, three games with uh, our, our, all four lines. Uh, speaking of, I guess, forcing, uh, putting Kevin on his uh, one timer side on power plays, that's sort of uh, forcing him to shoot. Yeah, it is. I think uh, you saw him play the other side quite a bit last year. And, uh, um, you know, some guys are just better on their offside. And, you know, working downhill um, was an issue on his forehand side. And he always seemed to, you know, want to handle it before he shoots. And now when he gets it on his one timer side, um, you know, we talked about that mentality when he pucks to the net. And, and the biggest thing, too, we talked about shooting, but we also got. We have traffic and we have someone going through the goalie's eyes. And uh, um, so, yeah, he looks comfortable over there. Well, the structure, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I think, again, <laughs> I'm going to reiterate what I said this morning. And, and you know, it's I'm proud and proud of the guys uh, that I can. I mean, you know, again, it was our compete level. Uh, you know, probably wasn't the prettiest third period, if you know what I mean. But, you know, we grinded, we battled, you know, so many guys were blocking shots, sacrificing the body, taking hits. I mean, it was just a, it's a pleasure to watch, you know, when you're, when you're playing, you got a guy after guy that jumps over the bench, that's, that's willing to, to do what it takes to win. It's, it's uh, you know, makes for a good feeling. Are you a mastery of Ottawa continues? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, I think, uh, you know, they had some good chances out there and, and a couple of lucky breaks coming close, so we'll take it. Um, we're talking about Logan. Logan said that uh, maybe last year uh, this team in this situation where they're down, you know, they maybe they wouldn't have responded. Of course, you weren't here last year, but you've been on you know, plenty of the teams. And so anyway, uh, do you kind of feel that kind of belief in the room uh, that you guys can come back? You guys you know, don't have to worry about being down a goal or two? Uh, as, and currently, as you experienced with uh, past teams, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's a cliche. I mean, it's a sixty-minute game. Um, things are going to happen, and and whether it's it's your your team mentality or your personal mentality, like for myself, you like a goal ten minutes into the game. You know what I mean? It's you just have to brush it off and, and keep trusting that your game is, is going to be good enough. And same with the team, you just trust that your game is going to be good enough regardless of the score. And so. Uh, tonight uh, was another, uh, I think, uh, indication of that. You know, we were 
we got down and we just kept chugging away and managed to uh, put a couple by Murray and then, and then uh, set sacrifice to, to hold on. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, I guess. I mean, um, Hills is uh, a great guy, and uh, and I love I love playing alongside him and uh, being on the team with him. So um, obviously, we I think <laughs> like any good goalie partnership, you you try and push each other. I think you try and learn from each other. You try and help each other. Um, and when, when I'm on the bench, you know, I'm, I'm literally his biggest fan, you know what I mean? And so um, I'm sure it's likewise. And so, um, yeah, he's been playing great. And so uh, when you get to the top, you just want to go out there and, and uh, in this case, like him, uh, give the best chance. Best long shot set. Bigger reason why the coach makes it so hard. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, Sometimes the penalty kill is easier than a power play. I think sometimes the power play takes time to get um, in sync and in chemistry. So um, I don't even know if that's that's going to be a true you know, data would would, uh, would prove that. But but I think um, again penalty kill like defense, you have to have structure, you have to have a plan. But again, it just comes down to that willingness to to do what it takes. And so I think um, everyone has that. It doesn't necessarily need to be a ton of chemistry to have that. When you do have that chemistry, it also helps too. But, you know, right now it's just, like I said, guys doing what, what it takes. Yeah.